This video is my opinion. This is taken from the movie The Prime of Miss Jean Brody by Miro Spark. Patsy used this story as source material for the dramatic recitation she did in the talent portion of her pageants. It is my opinion that Patsy had dissociative identity disorder and the crime was done by an alter persona in the image of Sandy Stranger. Sandy is identified as the assassin by Brody in the movie. His name is Brody. I have been dismissed from Marcia Blaine. Someone betrayed me, Sandy. Someone spoke against me to the board. Could it have been who? Are you thinking that maybe one of your girls betrayed you? I said to Miss Mackay, I have the loyalty of my girls, and she said, do you? I'm not believe it. I'm not believe it was one of my girls. Perhaps it's true. I thought possibly Monica was very little fool. Monica but is a liar. I know. You all are Monica and Jamie. Oh, not Jamie. She's like a part of herself. There's an example of identity fusion between Brody and Jenny, just like between Patsy and John Bonet and Patsy and Muriel Spark. You said, as you see, you are exempt from all suspicion. You have had more of my confidence than anyone. You know more than anyone would have sacrificed for my girls. And there are some important uh, words, confidence and confide and uh, sacrifice that show up throughout the case. Victory saved by the cross. Note the edging on the borders on this uh, typically purple outfit of Jean Brody. This shows up in Patsy's attire as well, such as here from uh, the CNN interview, I think. And here from uh, the Larry King live interview. Same kind of border edging. And here from the Barbara Walters interview, same kind of border edging. It just shows another type of uh, identity fusion. This, in this case, shows up in Patsy's clothing. I hope you enjoyed this video.